The Schnebly Winery, located in the Redlands region of South Florida, is not your average winery. Their wine isn't made from grapes. Rather, it's made from tropical fruits that are native to Florida's tropical climate. The winery, surrounded by lush landscapes, sits on 96 acres of land that grows most of the fruits used to make the wine, which supports the local economy. You pretty much can make wine out of anything, but not anything can make a good wine. We've kind of learned that the hard way. We wanted them to resemble the fruit, so you, when you taste mango wine, you're gonna taste mango. When you taste lychee, you're gonna taste lychee. I love the taste of the fruits, and you can really taste the fresh fruits. And it's just a nice place to bring a picnic lunch and come with a bottle of wine and sit and visit. I was very impressed with the Schnebly Winery. It was. Uh, it very much exceeded any expectations I had. The, the facility was beautiful. They had uh, very modern winemaking equipment. Their tasting room was on par to nicer than several tasting rooms I've been to in California. Uh, it, it was a very impressive setup. We actually started with uh, four different wines and as of now we have 16. They basically started uh, experimenting from scratch because no one really has made wine out of tropical fruits. In Florida, the, our climate is not really conducive to, to growing the typical, you know, more traditional wine varietals like Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, it's just too hot. Our, our climate just isn't, we don't have the right climate. Now we do have some wineries that do make more traditional grape wines, but a lot of them are making uh, muscadine wines and things like that, not your, your traditional varietals. We have avocado, we have starfruit, lychee, guava, and actually the best seller, it's a, a blend of them. It's a blend of lychee, starfruit, and guava, which is called the Category 3 Hurricane. We just say overall the wines were, were very, were just a, a nice change of pace from, from what you would normally drink. I think uh, some of the wines were very interesting. Uh, the avocado wine was, was different than anything I've ever tasted. Uh, they had one called uh, Category 3, which was a blend of three different of their tropical fruits. Um, and it was actually a very nice wine. You know, overall, it's, it's a very you know, approachable, nice, summertime, you know, hot weather wine. So how exactly does Schnebly make their wines? You obviously press the juice out of the fruit. We had to experiment with different machines and different ways to press because just the machines are not made for for mangoes or for avocado. And the juice you ferment it with yeast and what the yeast does, it consumes the sugar and it creates it into alcohol. So that's the way it works with grapes, that's the way it works with tropical fruit. Lychee wine was actually my favorite. It was just completely different. I think it's probably because I liked the, the taste of the lychee fruit. It's a very delicate fruit. It only grows in the tropics, so the tree will grow farther up north in Florida, but it won't bear fruit. Really, we're the only ones that can make uh, lychee wine. It's not a complex wine. It's very fruit forward. It, it very much reflects the characteristics of what the lychee fruit tastes like. I like the really sweet ones and their fruit wines just really hit a chord with me. Most of the wines would pair well with desserts being that they are tropical fruit. Typically they're, they're a little bit sweeter than your, uh, than your normal California wines. However, none of them were as sweet as, as, as say an ice wine or a, a German style Riesling. I have now become a wine drinker because of Schnebley's. Yeah.